Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Okay, welcome back to another beer review. A uh, celebratory beer review tonight, a treehouse celebratory beer review. What are we celebrating? We are celebrating my man Tom Brady getting his suspension overturned. One of the dumbest suspensions probably in the history of all organized sports. Um, Judge Berman today finally decided that Deflategate was horseshit, which we all knew from the very beginning. And the ridiculous four-game suspension put down by the clown Roger Goodell was overturned. Finally, a voice of reason. Mr. Berman, you are a saint and a godsend. So, figured we'd celebrate with the Treehouse beer because Treehouse is local to the Patriots and local, or uh, near and dear to my heart. I'm a huge Patriots fan, and I am the probably the biggest Treehouse fanboy that I know. So, what are we checking out? Well, they just brewed and canned Ma which is a hoppy amber ale, which truth be told, I'm not a big amber ale person. I will say that my friends at Modern Times here in San Diego brew a killer hoppy amber called Blazing World, which I really, really like. This is 6.8% alcohol by volume. I wanna say that on the website it says it's like around 7.3. Something said it was 7.3, but the can says 6.8, so we will go by 6.8. Hoppy amber ale, I'm not sure what hops they use. I looked online, it didn't say. Um, but this is brewed in remembrance of Nate's grandmother, I, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know if this was, I don't know if she passed recently or um, just something they wanted to do to remember her. Um, the top of the, uh, the label on the can says, we love you and we will never forget you. So awesome stuff from them. Yeah, really excited. I think this is, like I said, a newer canning. Um, this was canned on August the 25th. So today's September the 3rd. So this is what, eight days old? Just over a week old. Super, super fresh. Really looking forward to this. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing because we are celebrating <laughs> the freedom of Tom Brady. And if you're not a Patriots fan, I'm sorry about your luck because the Patriots are gonna, I, I just I have a feeling he's gonna absolutely um, go crazy on the league this year because you can tell he was not happy about the horse shit that he had to go through and all that jazz. So whatever, screw all that, we're celebrating. Let's check this one out. Oh, and as always, huge shout out to Leo for sending this. Seriously, bro, I can't thank you enough for all the Treehouse beers that you send me. Thank you so much for sharing with a lowly, lowly Patriots fan in Southern California. <laughs> so let's get a pour. Really, really looking forward to this. Like I said, I really enjoy Blazing World from modern times. And I'm excited to see what Treehouse does um, with this style of beer. So we will set that there. Beer pours, just like it says, it is a dark amber color, like a, like a dark red color with an awesome probably finger and a half of like a off-white like a almost like a cream colored head super tight bubbles that beer looks absolutely freaking amazing in the glass so <clears throat> I could smell the hops I don't know what what they hop this with I looked online and it didn't say it just said it was a hoppy hopping amber ale so let's go ahead and stick our nose in it yeah, I get, wow, that's like huge pine. This very much reminds me of Blazing World already. It's like, it smells like a West Coast, a West Coast hoppy beer. Pine, um, look, there's some floral notes in there. It's resinous, it's dank. You get uh, like that, like that caramel kind of, what is that? Like a caramel, like the malty kind of caramel aroma that you get from like a, like the more malty side of a beer, but that's that's just like a faint kind of a note underneath all the hops. This is very dank, very piney, very grassy, very floral. Like I said, I don't know what hops they use, but this smells, it does. It reminds me a lot of a West Coast style beer, which is awesome from Treehouse. Yeah, near 7%, no alcohol in the nose of that. This is, this is just a huge kind of piney, dank, resinous, with a little bit of that kind of caramel -y, toffee thing going on underneath all that. So this actually smells really, really good. And for not being an IPA, I am very, very excited to see what Treehouse does with a non. I think the only thing, the only beers I've ever had from Treehouse are hoppy, either pale ales or IPA. So I'm super stoked to check this one out. So Leo, thank you, sir. Go Pats. Brady is free. <laughs> Cheers. Ooh, that is good. Wow, I like that a lot. Yeah. 
right up front you get hit with those hops piney grassy resinous dank awesome bitterness middle of the mouth um, and then you get that kind of caramel toffee sweetness on the back end that goes and balances all those hops out this is actually really really hoppy and i really really like this i am very very pleasantly surprised yeah middle of the mouth you get an awesome awesome bitterness that goes with all that piney grassy dankness and then yeah the caramel malts that caramely kind of toffee sweet bready note on the back end um just kind of ties all those hops together Sorry, i thought i got child bombed but yeah this beer is crazy good um i love the hops it's not overly i mean it's really really hoppy but it's not crazy aggressive like to the point where you're scraping your tongue hoppy super balanced very very balanced for an almost seven percent really easy drinking it's got that creamy signature treehouse mouthfeel but yeah man that is so good i wish i could have got more of these um i mean this was a surprise package that i got from leo he sent me a can of ma i got a can of uh eureka with nelson and i got a couple night i think it's night shift the i think it's up in maine they have, they're the beers with the owl on them. Someone will tell me what they are. Night Shift, I think. I got a couple cans of those, so I'll be reviewing those shortly. But this beer is awesome. I really, really enjoy this. For an amber ale, I honestly, I would drink this all the time, and I'm not even an amber ale person. It just, it, it almost reminds me of like the, uh, the black IPAs. You get almost like a roasty, it sounds weird to say roasty, but um, like the sweetness and the, and the bitterness kind of just work perfectly. Um, it almost gives you like that dark, like that black IPA, like this, the stone sublimely self-righteous or um, dark penance from founders. It, it's reminiscent of that. It's, I mean, it's like Blazing World too. Um, very West Coast style. Yeah, the hops and the sweetness, it just works perfect for that. This is awesome. <laughs> this is really, really good. Shout out to you, Nate. This is a perfect kind of a tribute, tribute beer to your grandmother. She'd be very, very proud of this if she was a, uh, an Amber Ale fan. This is amazing. I like it a lot. Really, really good. There's no uh, no alcohol to be found in there. I mean, it's it is. It's only six point eight percent. But I mean, Treehouse can do no wrong. There's not a style of beer that they can't make and make amazing. So this is another winner. This is really. I'm like, this is going down really, really easy. Perfect celebratory beer. For football season coming up and it is officially football season now that tom brady has been reinstated and he is playing where he should be so the steelers should be nervous i'm nervous for them but yeah as for a rating on this i mean this is really the only thing i have to compare it to is blazing world and i like this more than blazing world i like the mouthfeel i like the balance i like the hops i like the malts i like the sweetness it's just it's balanced perfectly really really good um I'm gonna go 95 on this one. World class stuff. This is, I mean, it's better than Blazing World. I had Nugget Nectar too. It was an older bottle that um, I had said that I wanted to try, it and Darwin happened to have some bottles left over, and he sent me one. And I mean, he had said, you know, it was. I think it was like a month, six weeks old maybe. So I mean, in fair, it wasn't really fair to that beer for me to to rate it with the time that it had on it. But this is every bit as good as Blazing World. Better than Nugget Nectar. I mean, as far as hoppy ambers go. This kind of sets the tone for him. 95 for me. Awesome stuff from Treehouse. You guys are freaking amazing. The New England Patriots, you guys are amazing. And I cannot wait to see that banner on Thursday night. So, as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you've had Ma, I know it's kind of a newer beer. But if you're watching this um, and you've had Ma, let me know what you think. I think it's great. Another awesome beer in the lineup of amazing Treehouse beer. So, I'm out of here. Go Patriots. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse, so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.